Good morning. Kellen Hagen, how you doing? On my morning 5K, this walk has become a habit. And I just love getting up in the morning, doing this walk, and really enjoying myself on it and feeling good. But it wasn't always like this. Used to be, I'd work super hard all day in front of the computer or do stuff like that. I'd slowly get more and more out of shape and not feeling good because I'd put off my exercising. Because gosh darn it, I got to build my business and stuff like that. And, and, and then what I would do is I would go into this whole hog craziness. I'll get, a, get to the gym, spend a couple hours every day working out, and I'd change everything drastically in what I ate and whatnot and get myself back in shape. But when I do that, it never really formed the habit that I needed to stay healthy. So this time, after working my long hours doing my home business to really, you know, explode it, and I was getting out of shape, I did things differently. This time what I did, and, and it's worked so well, is I started off with just a short walk, but every morning. Now some days that walk was longer, but I didn't worry about it. The important thing was that every single day, I got out for a short walk. That yeah, might have been just a kilometer, sometimes half a kilometer, you know, and it slowly it grew, and it grew naturally, organically. It just, it grew into being a longer and longer walk all by itself, you know, and, and I had a desire to make it longer, but I wasn't pushing the agenda on it. And slowly, slowly that walk became a 5K walk, which it's kind of settled into just partly because of time frames with the kids and homeschooling and all, but sometimes it ends up being more, but it very rarely less. So, and that's been really cool. And it's now a habit. And what I did on that walk is I started to layer in. I would stop on the walk and layer in some stretching. And at first, it was a you know, 10 second stretch in a few different directions, getting my upper body engaged and whatnot like that. And slowly, bit by bit, the stretching became a major part of my exercise in the morning as well, as I was layering it in, not forcing it all at once until I hurt or my time schedule was too jammed. And then that stretching is turning out to be, when well now I'm stopping, I do a little bit of stretching, do a little bit of exercising for my upper body, some strength exercises and whatnot, right out on the walk, no special gym, no special tools, just stretches the walk a little bit, and I really engage my upper body. What happens is now, it just feels good to do all these things, and it seems natural to me. Never at any time did I have to jump up, get ready, go to the gym, get dressed, go to the go to the, the swimming pool and take my stuff and, and get all ready or do whatever else I need to do that, that ends up with an, a one hour exercise, ends up taking out three to three and a half hours of your life. It becomes hard to fit those in and it becomes hard to make those a habit. Now I'm not saying don't do that. And down the road, who knows? But right away, just form the habit of getting out there and doing stuff. That's why so many places say, just get out and walk 10 minutes. Just get out and do something. And then on top of that, as I was doing that, I didn't immediately start changing everything in my diet. I didn't go drastic whole hog onto some fancy product and just really start using the product and changing my life and, and cutting out all the things I liked and my kids liked to eat and all that. I slowly started to cut out, first off, a lot of the carbos, the white flours. Get rid of them, get rid of them. If you can get rid of all the gluten in your life, your brain will be better, you'll think clearer, you'll feel better, your digestion will be better. Now I didn't do that, still haven't done it. But I, I do things, and some of them are a little bit of a compromise. Like I'll buy a really good sprouted bread, as opposed to the, the heavier gluten heavy breads, because they have more nutrition and lower in the gluten and whatnot. So there's a lot of healthy choices out there. Also cut out most, most of the white and processed sugars. I didn't cut it all out, guys. I got kids, I love my kids, and frankly, I love a good bowl of ice cream. So I'm not gonna cut everything out, but I cut it way down. And by cutting that way down, my body started to adjust. 
we stopped buying things like chips as snacks to have in the house on a regular basis. And I bought it buying more different kinds of nuts, raisins, prunes, <laughs> yes, prunes, and lots more fruit. Now the kids weren't overly happy with it. They wanted their snacks. And we had popcorn in the house. We could pop ourselves and make a good, basically healthy popcorn. We even use organic, non-GMO. But the idea being is to stop having some of those in the house and shift the habits to where you're reaching for and you want to reach for healthier snacks. And I did that. And what happened was, now I didn't start losing weight right away. because, But that wasn't my goal. But I started getting in better shape. My clothes started to fit me better. I started to look better. I started to feel better. And my weight was still hovering around the same thing. And that didn't change much. So, after a while, now I've got all these habits formed. I've stabilized my weight. I'm not going up in weight anymore. And that was big. That was huge, right? So now, I choose to start layering some other things that can help me burn my weight without necessarily having to extend my exercise program so far into my day that it stops being realistic in my life at the time for my schedule and for it to be a habit. Habit, that's the big word. Habit, everybody uses that word as a bad thing, but it's a good thing. It just means you get used to doing something and you do it and you feel good when you do. Right? That's to me what it is anyway. So, now, I start to layer in something else. You know, we have a company that we're layering in. It's pretty much all organic and all that, but it doesn't matter. There's so many great products out there. So many wonderful products. Make sure they're clean. Because part of this whole process is you do want to let your body be more, 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 just clean it out. You don't want to do a health product that's got a bunch of crappy ingredients. You know, if your company that you're eating a bunch of supplements for is full of you know, you know, NutraSweet and Splenda, which is sucralose and, and other toxic ingredients. If they're using GMO products, if they've got a lot of soy, which is almost all GMO and a lot of other things, you got to look close at it. Because if your product has questionable ingredients to it and you're putting those in your body, it's going to have an adverse effect, particularly if you're starting to get your body cleaner and all. It's going to really open up channels in your body and your, your energy is going to flow better through your body. Your blood's going to flow better and that's going to deliver more of these poisons to bad spots in your body. So make sure whatever you're doing, you're slowly cleaning out a lot of the toxics in our life. Pesticides, GMOs, artificial sweeteners, all of these things are not, they're not just, uh, they don't just go into your body and do nothing. Even things that have zero calories go in and have adverse effects on your body and your mind. Because remember, all of these things are connected. There is nothing that you do to your body, with your body, with your spirit, or with any of this that doesn't affect something else going on in your body, in your spirit, and in your, in, and in your life. So, <laughs> I love it. I feel good. Here's to forming better habits and being part of a better world and helping to shift the paradigm of thought. Shift it from toxic ingredients. Shift it from GMOs. Shift it from processed sugars or processed flours, artificial sweeteners, artificial colorings. And, and make that habit to exercise. But don't. Don't just try to shift your life so much that it's going to take you three hours every day to do your shift, that you're going to miss all the foods you're going to cut out all at once because you won't stick with it. You'll go back to it and you'll start garbaging yourself back up again and you won't even notice it until suddenly you're back up at the weight you were at or higher. Or God forbid, you get sick from some of this crap that's in everything that we eat and everything that we do. So feeling really good. I'm telling you, life is sweet and it's worth a few minutes every day to really enjoy it and know that the sun is shining and you can shine too. Peace.